So if you want, we can start the interview. So mm -hmm. first thing I want to ask you is, uh, how was your performance last Saturday on, on the show of the Melody Grand Prix? It was really fun. <laughs> It was. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. We did a dress rehearsal right before. I had mm -hmm. also gone through it one, one more time uh, earlier in the day, but I think live was, was when I did the best job, which is luckily for me <laughs> mm -hmm. um it was really fun and you know to hang out with the other um contestants and just um yeah to sing and have fun yeah your state's name is Elsie Bay but I think that your real name is Elsa right so that's right so how did you choose your state's name and what's the meaning behind it okay so I was in a duo before called Elsa and Amelia Mm -hmm. So when I went solo, I thought of just keeping Elsa. But then I also wanted a name that if you Google it, you will find me. Uh, and because of the Disney movie Frozen, oh. I think that for about a hundred years or so, you will only find Princess Elsa if you Google Elsa. So that's why I thought of finding another name. And then I just briefly spoke to my mother about it, that I was looking for an artist name. And she said, oh, you need to pick Elsie because I wanted to call you that. But then I ended up with Elsa instead. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I can do Elsie. And then my management was like, okay, maybe we should do like a last name as well, mm -hmm. because there are a lot of female artists in Norway with just one, one name. Um, and so I just took the last part of my last name, Vik, and just Google translated it to Bay in English. Yeah. And then there it was. Yeah. I have looked, uh, I have Googled your name in Google. So if you look for Elsie Bay, it's appeared mm -hmm. a, a bay called Elsie in, in mm -hmm. the Caribbean. Have you ever That's been true. there? Or no? no, I haven't. I haven't, but I thought about going there just because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's the Elsie Bay. So I, I was yeah. looking for you and I, it was like, oh my God, there is a bay. I think that is in Anguilla or in Anguilla. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. And I think there's also a place in South Africa that's called Elsie Bay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so when when did you start to be interested in music? Um, so, you know, I sang in a choir when I was little and all that, you know, when you're a child, you sing a lot in kindergarten and stuff. Um, but my parents wanted me to, or they asked if I wanted to start playing the piano or the guitar when I was about nine. Um, so I started playing the guitar, but it wasn't until I met Amelia when I was 13 that, you know, um, she was writing songs and, and singing and we started writing songs together and singing together. So that was really when I got into like performing uh, in a band or a duo. So from, from the age of 13, 14, I would say. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So the other day I, I had an interview with We Are Jomi and two thirds of the group are from Norway. The other uh, mm -hmm. guys from Czech Republic. And when, when I asked them if they listened to the Norway, to the songs from Norway, they both told me that their favorite is uh, your song. So, oh really? Yeah. So, have you ever listened? Have you listened to their song? To Domi? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have. Um, I I think if I'm not wrong, uh, I know the producer, and I also I have met uh, one of the band members many years ago. Yeah. I don't know if he remembers. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. He he told me that uh, the same thing that that you you both meet together years ago. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're friends on Facebook because I saw that hmm. I saw a post there. Yeah. So maybe you can meet it again in Turin. Mm -hmm, maybe. Maybe. That would be that would be great. Yeah. So right now you are first one in the bookmakers. So that is a pressure for you. You are right now the favorite to win in your country. I am. You know, it, it's. Um... I think I think it's great first of all because that means that people love the song, which is uh, which is the most important thing when you write music that people like it because then you can do it again and again. Um, but you know, there there's a bit of a pressure to like. Okay, so the thing is, you know, now I can, I feel like okay, if if I'm the favorite, then maybe I have a shot at winning because you know it comes down to the votes that day. People have to vote, um, yeah. but at the same time, it's like okay, maybe maybe. I can go to Turin. Maybe, maybe there's a chance, uh, and that's that's a good feeling. Absolutely. 
And is this your first time trying to represent Norway or have you ever tried before? This is my first time. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was introduced to MGP last year when I was a songwriter for Emmy, mm -hmm. which was... Oh, I love the Emmy song. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So that was my first time kind of just really being introduced to the whole, um, yeah, to MGP. So, so I've never tried before, but this year I wanted to try to write more songs for MGP because I had so much fun last year. And then I was also offered to be an artist. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, of course. And how is the process in order to be selected as an artist? And in your case, directly to the final, not uh, in the semifinals. How did you go directly to the finals in your first year? Well, <laughs> well so the thing is, um, I think there are in, yeah, mainly two ways to get in. You could participate in a camp mm -hmm. um, or you can send your songs in through an email. Mm -hmm. So that, that, you know, that's open for everybody. You don't even have to like do music full time or anything. You can just send your song and they will listen to everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I was at one of the camps. So I wrote a song there um, and they listened to it and they liked it and they offered it to me as an artist. And when I said yes, um, it took a while until, well, like when I, when I knew that I was going to be pre-qualified, I got that message at the same time as I, I got the message that I was going to sing in the first semifinals. Mm -hmm. So it was really just the Zoom call with Steve Carlson, who is the, who's the boss there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he said, you're, you're going to perform in the first semi and you are pre-qualified. Oh, and I don't know how sorry. they, I don't know how they came to that decision, but it was, um, It was great news for me. I was really happy. And I was also together with the other songwriters when it happened. So it was mm -hmm. it was just really nice. We we kind of got to celebrate that together. I really believe that if you are pre-qualifier, it's because they really see something your song. Because you and Sue Wolfer, I think, you are both uh, pre-qualified pre and you are both uh, first and second in the, in the um, odds. So maybe... Yeah. Yeah, I think, well, you know, of course, I think it's a combination of that they like the song and also, you know, I, yeah, it must, it must be, that, <laughs> it must be that they like the song, yeah. Yeah. So was the Thofas your only option to, to enter in the MGP or have you written more songs and you finally selected that one? Um, I do have some songs written for my project. I have shown them to to Stig, but I think they they really like Death of Us the most for for the MGP stage. You know, there's there are a lot of great songs out there that doesn't necessarily fit into Melody Grand Prix. So I think I think this was was my one song that fits the most to this show. Um, but I, I also wrote Hammer of Thor for Uda. Oh, you are written for of Hammer Thor. Okay. Yeah. So that was like, that was, well, yeah, I, I did enter some more camps, but those songs didn't, <laughs> didn't make it. <laughs> this, this year, there, there are only two songs of you, the Hammer of Thor and yours, or are there more? Yes. The two. Oh, okay. And last mm -hmm. year, Emmy, right? Yes. Okay. 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 Maybe three of them on the final. Emmy was on the final last year. You are on the final right now. Maybe Hammer of Thor could, could qualify and all of your song could quite be a success. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. I hope so. But I think, uh, yeah, I'm crossing my fingers for Uda in Heat 3. Mm -hmm. um, uh, are you planning to make any revamp in your song if you win? If you want to do it, maybe a revamp or something bigger? Ah, uh, sorry. What's what's that? a re a revamp? It's like um, remake some parts of the song in order to mm -hmm. make it like more epic or more. I don't know. Uh huh. Well, we haven't talked about it actually. Do you have any suggestions? Something that we should? Uh, I think that the last the last part could be more epic. It's mm -hmm. right epic, but I think that if it is a little bit more epic, it could be amazing. For example, last uh, last year, Kaino. You know, Ask their their fans if uh, what kind of uh, outfit can we do for a final or something like that. They listen to the fans and uh, in the finals they, they were amazing. So maybe uh -huh. so you're, you're talking ask... about? Oh, sorry. Are you are you talking about staging? I'm talking about staging about your song. Maybe you can change, for example, ticks last year. I think that 
he told uh, he totally changed he, uh, he saw his whole song from Nor Norwich Norway mm -hmm. uh, to English so maybe mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. change something change extension I don't know mm -hmm. well I think we've definitely talked about uh, making some changes to the staging mm -hmm. but if you have any suggestions if, if we should do something to the song as well please please let me know yeah yeah I think that mm, it's quite mm, epic but I think that if the final of the song could be more epic, I think that you will really win. The okay. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank you, you can ask on, on Twitter. I, I I saw you asking things this, these mm -hmm. days. You you are joining, I think, that this week or last week. So you are really doing quite well because I think that maybe your vision in Twitter is quite big because all across, people from all across Europe tend yeah. to, to use Twitter more than maybe Instagram or I don't know. Mm. So maybe yeah. I don't know. You can ask from on, on your Twitter, and maybe yeah, uh, I should I should do that. Yeah, maybe we can help. So mm -hmm. that'd talking, be great. <laughs> so talking about the other songs, uh, do you have any favorite between the the other twenty? Maybe your own song as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I would I would like to win, of course. But I think my favorite, if I look past my own song, um, probably be North Kid. I think they're going to give me, and I think they're going to give me a fight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are going to change a little bit our minds, and we are, we are going to think right now that you, you have won the Melody Grand Prix and you are going to Eurovision, right? So, <laughs> okay. if you go to Eurovision, what what do you want to make on that big big stage? What kind of show do you do you would you make there? Oh uh, well, I haven't planned it yet, but I do think I would progress it even more. I would I would um, make all of the changes that I couldn't do now. I would make it even better and greater than than for the MGP. Um, but I am, I'm still not up to date on all of the rules that we have to follow. So it's going to be nice to just, yeah, know all of that and then start planning mm -hmm. to see what we can do. Mm. Do you have any references in the Eurovision? In, the, in Eurovision? Maybe some artists that have passed through Eurovision or maybe an act that you remember seeing it and you said, oh, I love this. Like for staging or like a song that I love? In general, maybe you like some staging for, I don't know, in Finland 2014 and and this song, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, so, I mean, I, I'm a huge fan of Fairy Tale from Alexander Rybak. Uh, I don't care if I lose my mind, I'm That was a moment for me when I was I was 13 years old, I think. So, oh so that was a big moment for me. Um, and I love Euphoria. Um, and I like the simple staging of France last year. And I also loved Italy's staging. You know, oh that God. that's, I mean, that's a rock band. Yeah. So I was like, that's maybe not the same staging as I could go for, but it was really, really cool. I really see you doing a uh, stage like last year's Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. Like the, with the sand and maybe Death of Us is a ballad. So I, I see you doing something like that, maybe different, not, not to be the same, but <laughs> something of, of the same the same thing. I think that it could be really good in Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Let me let me have a look at that and talk to yeah, yeah. my so, people about it. So I, I want to, to see your, your performance in the Melody Grand Prix. I, I, I will look if you, you have changed something. <laughs> I will be looking because mm -hmm. I, I couldn't see the, the the half the other day. So I, I watched your performance firstly the, the, the other day. And after that, I watched the other four because <laughs> right now uh, I listened to all of them and I was like, oh my God, Elsie, this song is amazing. I don't know what why it's not going directly to Eurovision. Uh, I listened to it and not only me, uh, the, we are the two guys from We Are Dummy said the same thing. Yeah, uh, they they are reproducing Spotify a, a a playlist that your song was mm -hmm. the first one. 
they listened to all of them and they still remembered your song. Oh, really? So, so That's great. I, don't know. I, I, I really think that you are first one because the song, it deserves it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And the other day, uh, I'm, I'm from Spain, so I have to ask, ask this. The other mm -hmm. day, you, you, you write on Twitter that you, you have been living in Spain some years. Where did you have yes. li li where did you were living here? Um, so I lived in in a small town called Alfas del Pi when I was seven and eight years old. Um, so I went to school there. I went to first I went to a Norwegian school for a little while, and then we changed to a Spanish school so that I would learn Spanish a little better. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, we we actually moved back to Norway before I sort of learned it properly. So like my Spanish was like almost there, but also as an eight year old. So like, I wouldn't know all the fancy words that like the grown up words and stuff. <laughs> and where, where, but, is the, where is that place? I have never listened. Heard so it's before. in, it's uh, close to, have you heard about Benidorm? Yeah. It's yeah. to I like- I heard about Benidorm because the Benidorm Fest that is the Spain's preselection this year for, uh -huh. for choosing our representative is going to be there okay. next week. Oh, cool. So, yeah, so we just, we, f we always fly to Alicante and then we just drive a little north. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so it was really my parents who just wanted an adventure, really. And, and, then, uh, and then, sorry. Planning to, to return? Oh, yeah, we return for holiday all the time. Um, we don't have a house or anything, but we return to, like, meet friends and just, you know, because for me, it's like I was a child when I lived there. So for me, it's like, feels very much like home kind of yeah so i really want to go back and you know see some of my old friends and also just you know eat at the same restaurants go to the same places the same beach and just yeah feel at home <laughs> <laughs> it seems amazing so um what are your plans for the future you have uh, you told me before that you are planning a project it, it, it's going to be an album an ep maybe some video clips well, I have made an EP. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I will add some more songs and make it an album. I'm not sure yet, but it's there definitely will be more music from Elsie Bay this year. Mm -hmm. We just have to see, you Before know, Eurovision with time. Or after Eurovision? I think if I go to Eurovision, I think there might be a rule that I can't put out any music in between. I'm not sure. No, um, I, th I think that you can because the other day, um, I think that the Albanian representative uh, mm -hmm. they, they, she told we have um, her song we, we, uh, with the one he is, she's, she's going to participate in touring but she told us that she was recording another single that um, she would came out between Eurovision so I think oh, okay. I can do it okay maybe there's a well maybe there's like a month before or something like that I don't know yeah, I think um, but I, I think somebody said that so I was thinking okay if I go to Eurovision we might have to wait a little longer Mm -hmm. But we'll see. There, there will definitely be more music this year. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I really enjoyed this interview. So maybe, do you want to sing a little bit of your song right now? Okay. Um, the devil hides between the jack and the king, Jezebel. Filling space in your sheets Am I keeping you from your issues Laying next to you like it's nothing Oh, it was amazing! Your voice, your voice sounds really better than in, I don't know, maybe life, it sounds better, everything. Thank you. <laughs> so I don't know. Good luck in everything. I I'm hoping to see your MGP performance. I, I will look if you change something, and if you win the MGP, I will write you again in order to ask you for an interview as a winner. So, uh, I <laughs> of hope, course, I hope we see it. We see we see each other again, and this Me time too. as a winner. <laughs> thank you so much. So I hope to you, see you again. Too. Thank you for this interview. It was amazing. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you and good luck with everything. Goodbye. Thank you so much.